Hi everyone, welcome to Robot Shop TV. Thank you for joining us today. We have been continuing our test to find the best robot vacuum in North America with the Robot Shop Ultimate Challenge. The results are now in for the new top of the line iRobot Roomba 780. Let's join Vahan who will explain to us Roomba 780's performance. Hi Vahan. Hello Julie. We are interested in seeing how the new Roomba 780 reacted to our challenges. Please explain to us the Roomba 780 results for 15 different tests. Sure thing, Julie. Test number one time to clean a room. Uh, it's not much different than the 560, came in a little less at 22 minutes, so it only gets 5 out of 50 points here. We'll have to see how it does in the next tests. Challenge number two, vacuuming debris. It didn't do as good as the 560, surprisingly. It picks up great, but the problem is that it spends way too much time doing dirt detect, which seems to be a bit of a problem. So with more normal levels of debris, because this is an extreme case, it should perform better. One very strong point, it did really well at picking up the nuts and bolts, so it's good for large debris. Uh, I got 90 out of 240 here. Now noise level number three, it's only marginally quieter than the 560, but it's marginally quieter enough that it gets 5 out of 25 points, and it is noticeable the difference, so it, it's, it's a nice feature to have. Uh, number four, ability to see obstacles. Uh, it will get stuck on your curtains and wires, but it will always unstick itself. And again, it's like the 560 where it doesn't avoid obstacles, it just kind of slowly bumps into them. So 45 points there, it did well. For climbing obstacles, it's able to climb just like the 560, the first two obstacles, but not the last one. It gets 15 out of 35 points for that, and nothing different. Now for the cliff sensors, you'd think by the seventh generation of Roomba they would have figured out how to do cliff sensors. iRobot has, they work, 10 points, let's move on. Docking. iRobot's actually improved the docking for their 780, it's even faster, it gets the max score of 35 points for number 7. And then for number 8, you're going to have to take this Roomba out of the room to get it to not dock uh, if you pull it off the dock, because that's how sophisticated the system is. Again, max score of 30 out of 30, did really well here. Now black carpet on the next one, number 10, uh, high pile carpet. Uh, the 560 could do it, there's no reason why the 780 can't, and it can. It gets 30 points for these two, very good score, perfect. Scheduling, oddly enough, it came in under the Nito, just at 15 seconds, so it's faster than the Nito, it's easier to schedule than the 560, gets the max score 60, did really well here. Now for battery duration, how long do you think the 780 lasted? Two hours? Three hours? This thing lasted for four hours. That's incredible considering it has the same battery as the 560. This is chalked up to iRobot's new power management system they built into the 780. They did a really good job on this one. So even though it has uh, the same runtime as the 560 for uh, cleaning a room, about 22 minutes, with that really long battery uh, life, it's able to get 20 out of 40 points. Same thing as the Neato, which is a very efficient robot in itself. So great score on number 12 battery duration. Now for Communicating errors, it speaks up for all error types, error. except for a full dustbin. This allows it to get 35 points for this test. It doesn't have any extra connectivity like uh, Bluetooth or uh, connecting to the internet, but still did very well. Now maintenance time, it's only marginally easier to clean than a 560, we're talking maybe 15 seconds faster. And I mean, it still gets the same accumulation of hair and dirt on it. The brush bearings are easier to pull off and improve, but it only gets 10 out of 50 points here. And then finally, the Ultimate Labyrinth. Uh, it's a smart robot. It's able to navigate the maze really well. Uh, it got turned around for one of the tests, so it did actually a little worse than the 560, but it still got 60 out of 70 points. So a very good score. Back to you, Julie. Thank you for this interesting information, Vahan. See you next time for results of our next robot vacuum. Anytime, Julie. I look forward to explaining the results for the next robot vacuum. Now let's see Roomba 780 scorecard. almost complete for a North American Robot Vacuum Ultimate Challenge. Next time we'll be testing our last contender, the Metapo QQ2 Plus. You can view more information concerning our tests and our results on the Robot Shop Ultimate Challenge webpage. See you next time on Robot Shop TV.